was lazy yesterday and I didn't vlog at all. Uh, I took some video of some stuff, but it was just such a hectic day trying to get into the convention because everything was so disorganized that I didn't really uh, make any time for vlogging. But here we are, we are at the con. I'm on my way to my third panel and my final panel for the convention. I did two yesterday that were really awesome and I had a great time. And uh, today we've got we've got our, our, our gayest panel of TwitchCon, which I'm really excited about because Adam is moderating and he's wonderful. And uh, then the meet and greet is on Sunday. And besides that, I've just been doing a lot of uh, meetings and, and work and that kind of thing. So, uh, panel, here we go. Day of TwitchCon, and it has been kind of a crazy experience. Um, I'm up super early today because I have to be with Twitch people for a couple of kind of promotional things that they're working on and doing some interviews. Um, I'm on my way to get some coffee right now because I need coffee before I can do anything coherently. And uh, then we're just gonna see where the day takes us. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of time today to do a little bit more vlogging. This has been definitely an interesting TwitchCon. Um, so there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully we can find the time today, but I've got a lot going on and really excited about the meet and greet. So, uh, last day. Convention Center maybe is not the best. I'm hoping that next year they don't do it here at all. Very disorganized and I'm not sure if it's like Twitch or if it's the venue staff or what happened, but like super disorganized. I don't know if it's just the fact that Twitch is getting bigger and there's just so many more streamers and partners and affiliates and all that stuff where now it's just, it feels like the convention is too disjointed or there's some kind of, there's just some feeling about TwitchCon now that it just doesn't feel the same as last year. I had a great time last year. Last year was awesome. Let's talk about the positives. I had some great panels. I really hope you guys enjoyed. You were able to watch either live. I got to meet a lot of new people from the Armory community, which was really awesome. I had a great time with that. So I got to hang out with some people that I've met before in the past. I got to see a lot of my streamer friends. I had some great panels that I really hope you guys enjoyed, whether you were tuning in on Twitch or you were watching live. Uh, we did a panel on merchandising your brand. I used to be a graphic designer and worked in brand identity and that kind of thing before I got started with streaming. I did a panel on social responsibility for influencers and talking about how we use social media and how we use that to interact with our viewers. And I did another panel about LGBTQ streamers and how we can together make the world better for people who are trying to stream while maybe falling outside of the umbrella of the majority. All of those were really fun. Today I've got my meet and greet. I've got a couple of meetings this morning. Uh, I did have one at 10 a.m., but that apparently got canceled. I guess the uh, the videographer got held up somewhere, so now we're just kind of chilling. I've got some free time to walk around the convention center while there's no one in here, which is awesome. I'm hoping to get some footage from that. My meet and greet isn't until 2 p.m., and after that I'm pretty much done. Corsair's having a mix for tonight, but it's gonna be pretty low key. And then tomorrow I get to go to Disneyland, which I'm really excited about, although I'm not excited about how hot it's gonna be. I've heard that it's gonna be maybe over 100 degrees, so. We'll see whether or not I roast alive at Disneyland. 